As a former competitive swimmer and now professional triathlete, I know the importance timing and technique is in the pool and in open water. So with that, let's dive in. Too much? Yeah. So after the massive interest in my previous video about timing technique and the leg beat to arm catch timing, I'm all about making things as easy as possible, whether that be understanding it or how to execute it. So I thought I'd break it down for you so that you could do it yourself. I think the first thing that you need to understand is that good timing is everything in swimming. If you don't have the timing right, then you can't get your body into a good position to be more streamlined and therefore more efficient. Your stroke should be timed to maximize your speed and efficiency in the water. One of the best ways to do this is by focusing on your breathing, your body position, kick and catch. Proper timing will mean that you maintain your rhythm and keep your body moving smoothly through the water. This is something that we looked at in the last video, but today I just wanted to break it down a little bit further using kit, such as a pool boy, paddles, fins, which allows you to focus on specific parts of what we were talking about. As I mentioned, an important aspect of good timing is your body position in the water. So if you want to maintain a streamlined position to minimize your drag and maximize your speed, this means keeping your head down, hips high, and body straight. Using a pool boy to help with that is a great idea and it will help you focus on your timing of your stroke after all if you're struggling with the timing of your stroke you can't or you're not able to get into the right position to have a good catch and therefore timing so i think it's important to focus on timing first and by using a pool boy to negate the need to focus on the body position it allows you to do this that being said to execute a good body position it's still important to focus on keeping your head down uh, your eyes looking straight ahead ish like about five meters in front of you and yeah, just helping to maintain a straight line through the water and body position high with nice high hips. Now, I was never really sure about what fins and paddles were meant to be helping with, but I've come to learn that they are a fundamental part of trying to break down the stroke and focusing on specific parts of it. So now that you've taken out the need to focus on your body position by keeping your hips high with the pool boy, it's now time to focus on the catch and the kick and the timing of the stroke. The purpose of the paddles, for example, is to overemphasize the catch phase. So right at the front end of that stroke and making sure that you've got nice power to be able to whip the head around and pull nicely through the stroke to propel you forward in a nice, strong, fast, efficient manner. The fins are very similar, so they overemphasize the little flick and uh, timing of that leg beat kick that we were talking about in the last video. Um, so like down beat leg kick on the same side, same stroke as your front end catch. So by doing that, you don't have to over, like over kick. That's not the point. That's why you've got the pull boy in as well. So you're minimizing how much you're actually kicking. You're just flicking the ankles, making sure that it's stabilizing the stroke, but also propelling you forward. By the way, if you're getting any value out of this or a little bit of an insight into what I focus on or how to break it down or what could be useful for you, do hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and also make sure you comment below on whether or not this is useful for you and any tips that I can have or take forward for myself. I'm all ears all the time, but please do comment below and let me know your thoughts. I was never sure, like I said, I was never sure about what each piece of kit was meant to be doing for the stroke. And by putting fins on with a pull boy seems bizarre, but at the same time, it does really work. I've done it myself, like hopefully you've seen in the example that it does work. And I really think it would be helpful for so many people to actually give it a go and try it. Understanding the reason for it though, not just going and just giving it a bash and, you know, just using all kit for the sake of using all kit. You've got to understand what each element is trying to achieve so that you understand the focus points of each part of the stroke. So again, pull uh, paddles are to overemphasize the front end catch of the stroke and help with the whip around of the head. Fins are to overemphasize the little bits of ankle movement and leg kick to stabilize, but also rotate the hips around so that you can get the catch into the right place. Pull boy is literally there to mitigate the focus on the body position, but it puts your body pos position into a far better place so that you can then focus on the timing of the front end catch and kick elements of the stroke.
So to execute good technique, focus on using your entire body to power your stroke. Make sure that you're starting with that little leg flick, then the catch, and that will drive everything else in terms of your timing, your breathing, etc. Okay, so make sure that you're really overemphasizing those bits and then take the kit away. So start by using all of the kit and then take the fins off so that your hips are still kept high from the pull boy and that you're still focusing on the catch at the front end with the paddles. Then take the paddles off so that you've then got the uh, feel of the stroke with just your hand and uh, your feet and then take the pull boy out and it will sequentially just allow you to get a feel for what's meant to be happening in the water and through it. Hopefully that helps you guys, it's definitely helped me and I'm still focusing on it to this day, like day in, day out. I, I still use all of those pieces of kit, probably most days, uh, at least one piece of those pieces of kit every single day. So yeah, it, it's, it's still very important at the front end of a professional field as it is in any age group setting. So yeah, give it a go. Let me know what you think in the comments below and yeah, hope it works.